Hi, this is Tim. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens to an output energize instruction compared to an output latch, output unlatch instruction when you cycle the power on your PLC. In this video, we're going to be using our Compact Logics Trainer. And before we even get started, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. In the last few videos, we've gone through how to configure a start-stop using the seal in and how to use a latch-unlatch. And at the end of the last video, I asked you, do they function exactly the same? So I'm going to press the stop button and you're going to see both lights go out. I'm going to press the start button and both lights go on. Now, if you're just jumping in here and didn't watch the other two, you should go back and watch them. But really quickly, we can view this program right here. So rung zero has our seal in. And so the green button and red button in combination are controlling the green light. And rungs one and two are our latch and unlatch based off the green and red button that are controlling our yellow light. So functionally, they operate exactly the same except on power up. So I'm going to cycle the power to my trainer. Okay, we're waiting for our trainer to come back on. And one thing to note while we're waiting is until this run light is solid green, we are not running. So we need to wait until we see that to make a determination of what's going to happen here. And just recall, both lights were on when we powered off the PLC and only the yellow light came back on. And that has to do with pre-scan conditions that happen to the output energize and don't happen to the output latch. So let's go and see if we can figure this out and we can do it. Let's just highlight our output energize instruction on rung zero and hit the F1 key. Okay, so here's the output energize help, and we got some good information in here. And if we scroll down a bit, we're going to see what's called pre-scan. And you see in pre-scan, the data bit is cleared to false. Also in post-scan, the data bit is cleared to false. So this may not be perfectly clear by this help file here. But there is actually a scan before the first scan. There's also a scan as the PLC is going off. And honestly, I probably should see if I could do a video to distinguish the difference between them. I'll have to work on that. But so as the PLC is powering off or even being switched to run mode, it is going to do the post scan. And it says right here, during post scan, the data bit is cleared to false, which also means it goes and writes a zero. And also during pre-scan, the data bit is cleared to false, or it goes and writes a zero. So we can do this without even powering it off. Let's go ahead, let's hit the green, well, no, before we do that, okay, if that's so, what does the output latches say? Let's highlight it and hit F1. And here's the output latch and if we scroll down to the same place pre-scan na post-scan na that means during these two scans it does not do anything to an output latch so when we're powering up it goes through and scans the entire program finds every output energized and goes and writes a zero to it. If it sees an output unlatch or an output latch, it ignores them completely. In fact, let's, let's look at the unlatch, although typically an unlatch would only go right a zero, but okay, let's highlight the unlatch and hit F1. And if we scroll down, same thing. We're gonna get NA on both of these. So when we cycle the power, that's why our green light goes out and our yellow light stays on. Now we can do that actually, actually we don't need, this is probably a good exercise. We don't even have to cycle the power. Let's hit the green button again, get both of them on. And let's make sure that nothing got broke. Red button still stops it. Green button still starts it. So yeah, program's not scrambled. 
is if I open the door on this, we have our mode selector, which is run, remote, and program. And right now we're in remote. If I switch it down to program, they both go out because outputs do go off in program mode. But if I switch it back to run, only the yellow light comes back on. Now, I don't like to get into a lot of arguments about what is the right way. If you've noticed, I, I rarely tell you that there's a particular way that you should do something. And I think this is one of those situations where you need to know how it operates depending on what it is. Because, okay, if this was a ginormous press or something that, you know, could be very dangerous to be around when it powers up, then, yeah, you probably want to do something to turn it off during power up. Let's say it was cooling pump, you know, like cooling pump, you know, at the um, at a nuclear reactor. When we, we get power back on, we want that pump to come on immediately. So, yeah, you probably might would want this method. So there may be applications for both. Now, I should go ahead and cover this. I, mean, I was going to cover some other power-up stuff later, but let's say we just had to use the output latch and latch, although there's no reason to actually have to use it. But let's say we chose to use it, and all of a sudden we realized we have this problem, is we can fix it without adding an output energize. So let's go back to our program right here. And right now we have yellow light, and we have an unlatch here. That's what we need to do is unlatch it. Well, let's just edit rung two, and then let's add a branch here, and we'll bring down and examine on, and let's type S colon FS. And this is the first scan bit, and it's a little bit hidden to find, but actually if you even mouse over it there, now see that one says first scan bit. So let's go ahead and download this program. Okay, now, Let's press our green button, turns them both on, and let's go ahead and cycle power and see what happens. And again, it's important to wait for this run light to be solid to make sure that we understand what's happened here. Okay, we have a solid run light now, but neither one of our lights are on. So what happens now is first we have that pre-scan, and well then we have what's called the first scan. And what we're saying here is that on that first scan, which is the only time this is true, go unlatch the yellow light. So there's how you can make a latch and unlatch turn off if you have this issue without doing a lot of program rewrites. Also, someone will bring this up. They'll say latch and unlatch is retentive and output energize is non-retentive. That is not a true statement because the output energize, the output latch, and the output unlatch are instructions. They are not memory storage locations. Local colon one colon o dot data dot zero is the storage location. And yes, it is retentive. But also up here, our green light, which is used with this output energize, its storage location is local colon one colon o dot data dot zero, and it is also retentive. This has to do with how data is written to. It does not have to do with retentive and non-retentive memory. So I hope this video has been helpful. Again, please hit that like button. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.